Next, I want to talk about the registered servers. We already kind of started working with it, but uh, what the registered servers lets, lets you do is group the servers by functional areas. You can also remove, add and remove server registration. You can customize your connection property. You can export and import uh, the server list to and from another server. So, kind of quickly look at this one. You don't uh, actually we did not see at the look at the registered servers yet. So in order to get to that, you you click on view, and then registered servers. And you'll notice that under my local server groups, I have a development area and a production area. Uh, this is just my uh, home desktop, so I don't have a whole lot of servers. But if this was uh, your work environment, uh, you will uh, definitely see, see more servers. Under development, we have the cache PC. Uh, let's uh, before we change this, I I'm going to show you how to uh, essentially export this list. to a file so I will call it uh, SQL and I will select this basically creates a file called registered server file so I will go ahead and save it I'll click OK it says export was successful I will go ahead and delete the server so assuming this was a new server that you're setting up and you need to uh, load the settings, you could do an import. Look for the file and click OK. It says, do you want to replace the existing server group? I will say yes. And notice that it uh, recreated the server. So this is a nice little tool to have when you have a lot of servers that you're managing and you're trying to copy the same list from server to server. Um, oh, one thing I didn't mention is the connection uh, property. So let me switch back. And I will right click on the server and go to properties. And so this is the basically the server registration property. I will select the connection properties and there are some other things here but the two that I wanted to mention is that you can change your default database to the one that you're working with mostly so in our case it's sales and also if this was sensitive data you could select encrypt connection and I will go ahead and save now next time I start a query it will automatically make sure that I'm in sales database so that is all I wanted to mention about the registered servers. Let me switch back to PowerPoint. The next topic is Object Explorer. This is what I call the meat and potatoes part of Management Studio. Uh, really the heart of the application where you're going to be spending uh, most of your time. You can, uh, using Object Explorer, you can connect to different SQL Server services you have the ability to change server and database configuration settings when you connect to the database engine there's a hierarchy of objects which are grouped by the logical areas you have a filter option to limit the number of displayed objects uh, also you have a very powerful customized context menu for quick tasks so let's go ahead and jump into this and uh, I think this is where we're going to be spending most of the time uh, for this tutorial so notice uh, it created uh, sort of like a tab here. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, just remove the registered servers. So we won't be looking at that um, for now. So you'll notice um, before I even start talking about the database engine, you can select, click on connect, and you can connect to different uh, services. So when I actually launch this, uh, uh, application initially I was connected to the integration services which I didn't realize but uh, using the object explorer you can connect to different areas I don't think I have analysis or reporting services running here so if if I had some packages uh, SSIS which is the integration services if I had some packages 
I could uh, possibly come here and run those from within Management Studio. Um, currently, I don't have anything in here, so I will go ahead and disconnect. And we will move on to the database engine topics. First thing, uh, you'll notice that uh, we, we are, you know, the area is divided into um, essentially logical folders. So we have a databases section, we have a security uh, folder, server objects, replication, management, and then SQL Server agent. When you go ahead and expand one of these, it will kind of keep uh, going below the hierarchy into uh, into the uh, database and then under the database you'll see objects like tables within that you'll see other objects so let's t go ahead and expand our sales database and then um, you see now all these objects pertain to the sales database I'm going to go ahead and select tables and currently I only have one table called item master in there uh, but um, the idea is I just want to show you how this is laid out in Management Studio so when you're working uh, with uh, different objects you will know where to find them. So I just expanded the security tab under the uh, databases. Now remember there was a security here too. Uh, this security has to do with server level information. The security tab here has to do with the database level information. So you have to kind of remember where you are in the scheme of things. If I expand the users, you'll notice some of these are out of the box users, but I have a user called cash and uh, sales underscore user that I had created. So this is how you navigate under the database uh, tab. In security, like I mentioned, we have uh, a lot of different information with um, dealing with security and we actually have another video series on security so I would recommend uh, recommend that if you want to learn more about security topics so we have the logins we have the server roles uh, credentials some other stuff to do with uh, encryption and auditing that's all under security uh, we have the server objects here you can uh, create backup devices endpoints link servers uh, triggers then we have replication if you were trying to replicate data from a main server to maybe a reporting server or some other users you could set that up we will be covering that in a different topic then we have management that has to do with uh, anything to do with policy management um, maintenance plans the query governor um, SQL Server logs, database mail, some of these other uh, topics and also they have some legacy uh, information in here if you were running like a 2000 or 2005 uh, that would show up here and then we have, we have the SQL Server agent and SQL Server agent is another service that runs on SQL Server that handles any kind of scheduling if you are running a um, let's say a job to back up a database that would be available over here so that's uh, a little bit I wanted to talk about uh, Object Explorer. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just kind of go on through this list to see what did I miss. I think I will switch back and actually uh, go into the uh, system databases. And we'll quickly look at master. to go ahead and look at some of the stored procedures. I wanted to show you the filter uh, ability in Object Explorer. So here we, here we are in Master Database. We're looking at stored procedures. And as you can tell, you have a lot of different procedures. And you may have this uh, set up in your database where you are working with a lot of different objects. And uh, you want to filter them. So you can right click, select Filter, Filter Settings and it will bring you a little dialog screen. I want to find everything that has to do with uh, let's say uh, replication. Okay so here you go. It's returning me a lot of the stored procedures that have to do with replication. So 
the filter is really nice feature to have if you uh, do have a lot of different objects that you work with I'm going to go ahead and remove it and now it should show me everything so that little icon there does the same thing um, another thing that I forgot to mention is that you can change a lot of the settings I forgot to show you is that you can change a lot of the settings and options for the server and the database so right now I just selected the server and I'm going to go to property and uh, here are a lot of the different settings we will uh, again cover this in a different topic today really the idea is just to kind of navigate around in management studio kind of get familiar with the uh, different uh, layouts and windows and options that you have available so I will not be discussing these in detail but if you were trying to find out how do I change some of the server properties you could just select the server and go to properties so similar uh, to that you can go to the database level select the database and also go to properties and uh, kind of looks similar to the server but definitely has to do with the database here, here it's showing you what are some of the files that are tied to the database uh, do you have mirroring enabled transaction log shipping so as you can tell the object explorer has huge amounts of information there's a there's a lot of uh, nice little features in here that you can use uh, finally the last thing are some of the miscellaneous topics um, you do have a built-in report functionality on server and database status so I'll uh, quickly show you that also uh, management studio has powerful scripting cap capabilities which are available from multiple locations and there is some intelligence also available